Hello, welcome to Voice in the Alexander Technique. I'm Alison Taylor, and today we're going to talk about listening. So there are many different ways to listen. Mostly we listen with our ears. If you um, can attend to the sounds that are happening in your space right now, just tune in to the sounds that you can hear. To do this, you may close your eyes to heighten your hearing sense. Perhaps you can hear the sound of the clock ticking. Maybe you have a fan going. Notice the sounds you're aware of in the space. And now turn your attention to the sounds outside of your space, outside of the room you're in or outside of the building you're in. Maybe you can hear traffic sounds, city sounds. Maybe you can hear nature sounds, some birds singing. Open your attention to include the sounds in your space and the sounds outside of your space. And now bring your attention inward. Listen to your breath. Here we're listening kinesthetically, somatically, bodily. See what it's like to include this listening in to your breath and listening out to the sounds in the space around you. Take a few moments to Go back and forth between those three layers of listening. Listening to the sounds in your space. Listening to the sounds outside the space. And then coming back to listen to your breath. Take a few moments in your own time to go back and forth between listening in, listening out to your immediate surroundings, and listening wide outside of the space you're in. Allow your eyelids to flutter open. And see how having the eyes open affects your listening as you take in the space around you. In a way, you're listening with your eyes, allowing images to come to you, to receive the sounds, to receive images, rather than going outside of yourself to try to see something in particular, allow a soft focus and allow those images to come to you. And as you tune into the different sounds around you, you can turn towards a sound And turn away from a sound. Try this with three more different sounds on your own time. Turning towards a sound and turning away from a sound. And now 
as you continue with this, bring one hand to the chest or sternum and bring the other hand to the sacrum, the lower back. Try this with a mirror as well. As you turn towards a sound, notice that as the head turns, there's this spiralic movement through the whole of your stature. As you turn away from that sound, notice the head is the primary movement and the whole of you follows. Turning towards a sound, perhaps you can feel under your hands that sequence of movements. The head begins the movement as you turn towards a sound. Well, what's that? I'm curious about that sound. And then that spiralic movement travels through the whole spine and the limbs follow in sequence. This work was inspired by Belinda Mello at AT Motion in New York. Um, there's a link to her work below if you're curious about exploring more of her work. Use this experiment, this exploration of listening, spiraling, turning towards sounds, away from sounds, listening to your breath. So you can use this experiment to notice your attention. And what happens to your coordination when you open your attention to include more of the space around you? Consider how this might impact performance, working with a scene partner or working on a solo recital working in relationship with an audience or with a camera, how does opening your attention to listen and receive from a wider field of attention impact your coordination and impact your awareness of an audience or a camera or a scene partner? Let me know in the comments below how this listening exploration is working for you in your practice and performance and join me next time. Thanks. Take care.